Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Let's Play. It's Dragon Worm here. And PD. And uh, the two of us are going to start our uh, Let's Play slash walkthrough of Balance Scales, which is our mod. Um, again, to, to plug this for, I think, the third time in my series, um, it is now on Planet Elder Scrolls. Um, so search for Balance Scales if you wanted to uh, try it out. And um, if you like combat and you hate Argonians, you're going to love it. So go ahead and give that a download if you're interested. And this video, again, is the start of our walkthrough um, of, those, of those quests, because some of them get a little bit challenging. Um, so right now, we are going to head to Laod, and um, we'll go from there. Head over to there. You know, I think I think the quickest way to get to Halao from here would be to Mages go transport to Balmora and then just run and jump up a, up the mountains and just point point ourselves over there. Sounds good. Keep moving. Really boost those Some athletics and acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. I, I just got a, an increase <laughs> there. Oh yeah. yeah. What do you want? I, I when I play other video games, I, I miss the fact that there's that nothing happens when when jump when I jump. Nothing happens. I did like, however, when one of the Minecraft 1.9 early beta builds jumping gave you experience. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I it really I wanted to have a mod where it, where it popped in this. Uh, the, either the Oblivion or preferably the Morrowind little level of <laughs> sound. That was, that was always fun. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're here in Balmora and we're just going to quickly blast through here and, and jump ahead, hopefully getting some acrobatic skills as we go. Yeah. So do you remember why we picked Law Ode as the location for the uh, starting point of balance scales? Um, I'm thinking the reason that we chose that was because there were really few mods that really, I think, touched the place, other than maybe some graphical improvements and whatnot. Yeah, All right, that makes sense. When we, when we started making this mod, we really didn't want it to interfere with um, any other mods that were made, really. Um, so the the goal would be, if you have this playing this mod, you're not going to have to really sacrifice much in terms of disabling your other mod. Um, we don't touch Balmora, we don't touch Zach, we don't touch any of the big major cities. Um, turn, go, to, go to the right, go to the right, go to the right. Just point yourself over those mountains there, yeah. Um, we, we don't really touch any of the big major areas, so there shouldn't be any real conflicts. Mod conflicts are something that really gets to me. There's some, mo I can't really like, there's some mod I was looking at playing, but it conflicted with the official Fire Moth plugin that Bethesda put out. And I was like, really? You're gonna, you're gonna make a mod that conflicts with an official plugin? That, by the left racer. Oh, as soon as I as soon as I get a hit off, it'll be fine. But the bane of Saint Jim. Do you got any racer plumes? You don't even have racer plumes. It's a damn shame. Ooh, Dunmer Stronghold down that way. Hmm? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done it this way, where I, I go across the mountain. Oh, this is exactly how I always go. I kind of, I, I fell off the mountain. Hopefully we're kind of oh Kadoodies. There's a lot of Kadoodies down that way. I can't even, okay, I can kind of yeah, see where I am. Yeah, you gotta keep heading. Nope. To, you gotta think the arrow is going the right direction. The air, I think that's the arrow of your the character's cursor. Yeah, it is. So I think it's a beeline this way. Yeah, let's try that. And hopefully Kadoodies don't kill us. <laughs> Forcia. 
Nick sounds fine, but Kaguti will probably destroy it. I don't think we need to pick up a couple uh, scrolls of wind form at some point. Yes, yeah, that that will definitely be a priority. For those, I don't want to say I'm sure that everybody knows about the amazing scroll of wind form, but I assume most of you do. In case you don't, the scroll that is some shopkeepers can randomly have. Um, Whenever I play, I always make sure that I have a shop that has the scroll of wind form. The bottom floor of the Major's Guild in Alt Room, there's a scroll seller that can have it. So I always save outside the Major's Guild door so the seller will load, and I keep reloading my game until the seller has it. And then I just save and use that, that and then on. So what the scroll of wind form does is it's a scroll that gives you invisibility and 500 points of levitation for 60 seconds. And it costs with 100 personality and 100 mercantile or somewhere in that range. In like the 290 to 350 range. I mean, it is, it is good. It, it's really cheap. It's, it does the exact same thing as the scroll of Wind Walker, but just far cheaper. I mean, I know the economy is broken in this game, so it's not the worst thing in the world if you get stuck with only being able to buy a scroll of Wind Walker, which are also a random scroll, so you're not going to get this either. Um, but scrolls of Wind Form are really good. Um, basically, the 500 points of levitation grants you a five times speed bonus. You can just buy ten of those things and you can run away from anything or fast, essentially fast travel anywhere yourself. So, here we are. Yes, the, the balance scale hub, I believe, yes. This is, um, if you if you start up our plugin, if you read the description, this is where it kind of sends you. Um, you don't get a journal update or anything, you just kind of, you know, do it yourself. Um, but as you can see, we have some Argonian eggs here that I'm not sure that because I'm not a member of the faction, I don't think I can pick them up, so I won't. But um, you'll notice they have some uh, of the Argonian attribute uh, perks um, in their ingredient um, effect list. So we'll probably be using those for alchemy a little later on. And here is the first balance skills NPC you'll meet, Aria and Dressy. Um, we'll, we'll give you three guesses um, where that name came from. But um, yeah, she'll ask you if you want some hot cereal or coffee. No, no, uh, no implementation of that. Um, I don't think the uh, Bethesda censors would really care for that. <laughs> that not, not, not that we're subject to the purview of of Bethesda censors, but it, it, it was something we were considering, but we just never got around to implementing it. We decided to actually focus on, you know, quests and making and content it, and con content. That content is, that matters. Yeah, that is what we ended up. Focus on maybe DLC. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. DLC for a plugin, and yeah. yeah. So is that that would be like a, a micro mod? Yeah, micro mod. Micro machines. I love those. When I was a kid. I oh, <laughs> bringing me back so many memories. So many memories. The nostalgia rush. So here's Saren and Dressy. Um, he's kind of the first um, NPC as far as quest giving um, is concerned that you'll meet. So despite everything going on in the world, I only have one thing on my mind, Argonian. So you're going to click there. Nobody likes Argonian. Perhaps you could talk to Gaius Horatius to find out more. Now he is the gentleman standing right over here. How can I help you? A heroic Imperial Gaius over here. Are you here to discuss Argonians? Yes, Argonians. Nobody likes them, including us. Do you? And the two choices are filthy Argonians, of course not, and... Yes, I do. We'll leave, it, we'll leave it a surprise for what happens when you say yes, you do. But um, here, we're going to put filthy Argonians, of course not, because um, we hate Argonians. Good. Perhaps you'll consider joining our little organization. When we when we say things like organization, that means they're in blue. <laughs> so yes, we are the Argonian hunters. Our name is fairly straightforward. We hunt Argonians. Nobody likes them. And we're performing a valuable service to Vardenfell by removing as many as we can. Now that sounds like a noble cause. 
indeed. So Argoni Hunters, do you wish to join the Argoni Hunters? So absolutely we do, let me in. Not right now is also a, I suppose, viable option. But I don't believe there are any negative, I think it's just a, I hope you reconsider. Yeah. It, so it, it's not a, if you're not absolutely dead set on joining them, you don't have to at that point. Yeah. But, um, as well, um, you should you should note that joining the Argonian Hunters, um, again, with as with most factions in Morrowind, will reduce your um, your uh, the disposition of opposing factions. I believe, namely, the Twin Lamps gives you a massive, <laughs> massive. Uh, they don't like you very much. So, <laughs> if you yeah. really want to complete those quests, do it first. But if you really wanted to do those quests, I don't know why you'd have them on. <laughs> so. He has an Argonian egg as kind of a, a um, perquisite to join the board. <laughs> and um, he has uh, some duties. So we're going to go ahead and click. And I do not have duties, but perhaps you can speak with Theron and Grubby. And he is standing over there. So, boop. And Theron and Grubby here to discuss duties. And he wants someone to recover an Argonian egg. So I know we were just given one. This one's different. And we'll explain why. So we're going to click there. The woman outside of town has one. Finally dress Argonian female. Will you contribute by any means necessary? Consider it done. So we have a journal update. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and it's just kind of giving you exactly what you need to do. <laughs> and we are over encumbered by the Argonian egg. <laughs> so we will do what anyone would do and we'll eat it. And we'll, we'll go ahead. So it's just outside of town, and um, you'll see right over here. We we'll just you leave the uh, the uh, the guild hall, and you'll head over just past it, and you'll see an Argonian dressed in a nice purple purple robe, and she is named Ben over for you. I believe she is completely useless in terms of giving you any sort of information. So I'm going to try taunting. Uh, if it gets to zero and taunting doesn't work, um, we'll go ahead and we'll just slaughter her. I think even if taunting does work, we're going to end up slaughtering her. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm over this. So, and your life is mine. <laughs> Our long blade increase, excellent. So we have a nice bit of uh, 100 gold. That's going to help us out. Um, an Argonian egg, which is going to set us right at the encumbrance limit. So we're going to go ahead and we could feasibly just repair. Uh, no, say just re use a repair hammer or something. I think everything was pretty pretty well repaired before. There we go. Well, yeah, we don't really need that helm. We can always go back and get it. And also, we could probably ditch the uh, um, all the alchemy equipment at the sort of safe house. Yes, I've, I've been meaning to do that. And uh, this is, uh, if you guys aren't aware, this is a continuation of our uh, let's play. Um, but again, the reason that we had started this character was to do this walkthrough. So um, now that we've we're we're doing a let's play with this character of just basic Morrowind things, and that has the grinding, level building, and other such things to allow us to play these quests reasonably, and it gives us something to do. Yeah. So um, the only thing. Sam really cared about in that was that she was dead because killing Argonians is uh, the M.O. of the Argonian hunters. Surprise, surprise. Um, so, yep, he really likes them. And uh, we can keep it and eat it. And uh, we got 100 gold for our trouble. And a promotion to field hunter. So that was a very, very mild introductory quest. So um, we're going to go ahead and continue right into the second quest. Um, 
So he wants us to eliminate Bunzaw. So we'll go ahead and click there. Uh, a male Argonian. Um, he, he really doesn't want to give up a lot of information. We're kind of low rank, so he just, you know, do what you're told, don't ask questions. And uh, our hint is that he's in Balmora. So, so I would submit that we should probably save at this point real quick, just in case things go wrong with the recording. <laughs> Always a possibility with G region, right? Um, so we're gonna I'm gonna make a new uh, yeah, save. In Medio Red. Okay, it's saved and then destroy the recording. So um, what we'll do, um, let's see where we are. Well, uh, we can just walk back to Balmora. Yeah, I believe we totally can. It's that way, it's the left. So the way I typically go in this uh, game, I, I hop over mountains a lot. I'm sort of my motor software and I. Um, I. I think if we just go through Flaw O, um, we can, walking about more, we'll go through the area where the Hualu Stronghold is built. Remember what that's called? Odai Plateau. The Odai Plateau, yes. I believe it's how you walk. Stronghold. But I could easily be mistaken. I, I've, made, I've made some pretty great um, epic failures in, in, in navigation. Uh, my, in navigation, forget navigation. In, in reading the sign, I think outside Balmora in, in the first episode of the Let's Play, I went ahead and read a sign that said welcome and insisted that the Daedric letter spelled out Balmora. And it was really funny because I had my cursor over the uh, the sign the whole time and it clearly said welcome, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> if, if you guys will recall, um, because of the resolution I have my, my game set at, it cuts off the upper borders so I can only see... And lower borders and, and, and side borders. Yes. It's, so we're seeing the middle rectangle of the screen. We can't. What we cannot see is the mini map in the lower right corner. We can see just the very, very top right edge of the magic bar. We can't see the yellow bar at all, or the the, the, the green key bar. Um, we can't see our weapon health. Uh, it, we're doing a lot of the navigation one. That is, that's just sort of what, what it is. I think we should go left. That's okay. weird, because the sign said to go point this way to right. Okay. But I have faith in Bethesda. Well, they uh, they designed Varsville, so hopefully they'll, they'll won't lead us wrong. Oh, oh. Yeah, we, we can't see the uh, the yellow bar really either. So it, it really is just a nice little almost playing blind. Also, we are playing without the sound right now. We have headphones plugged into the computer so that you can hear the sound, but we cannot. So we get, when we get snuck up on by things that are attacking us, we can't actually hear the change in the music. And the, our first indication that we're being attacked is when we actually take damage. Unless, like we saw with that Nick Town, it rock well could be. Oh, oh, this will not be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand my ground though against this Kabuti that will probably kill us. Oh, I need, we need to get a hit on this guy. We really do. Two. Okay, okay, I, I'm leaving. What, what's our health? Okay, our health's pretty low, but we have, we have some restore health. Uh, options. I don't want to use that one. We'll take some cheap ones. And uh, I think it's going to be a duel, guys. We're doing okay, I think. Okay, uh, we're going we're gonna to need to use some more health here, but I, I, I think we can do this. I think we can do this together. I, I believe in us. I believe in us, too. They, we, we I also believe in the danger. Huh. Yeah, I, I redeeming power of the danger can huh. have nothing we're really interested in right now, but hey, it was all experience, it was all worth it. Um, what does this do? Fortify health, chief. I'm just gonna use one of these because if we rest and we're really low on health, 
we get finished off by a um, Dark Brotherhood um, enemy. Okay. Another Kagubi? Oh. Okay, they're right <laughs> I love you, David oh. Katana. Oh, come on! What, 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 what? Oh, I can't even see where it's coming from. What, what is hitting me? That's what she said. What? Um, jump? Oh, 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 one of those things. Okay. But the tall grass makes it impossible to see. Yeah. We're not, we are not going to die to one of these. There you go, got it. Okay, has everyone had enough of trying to kill us on the way? And, uh, okay. We'll restore some of our health. And, uh, Malmora should be, yeah, we should be walking right into Malmora. I think it's over this ridge. Yeah, it is. So, let's just try and scale it. But we're, our, our acrobatics is very low. May or may not be. And we're ready for another level up, but I think we're going to try and bank this. Yeah, um, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Because if we continue to do that, we can get extra multipliers on some of our stats. And while we're here, we're going to drop off our alchemy equipment in Caius Kose's house. That's, kind of, that's the first uh, safe house, so guys will remember that you're going to get, um, technically, safe house that you're going to get when you start off on Morrowind. What brings you here? The house is oh, it should be yeah down over this way along the far wall unless I'm I'm a little turned around I definitely no, I, turned around I'm, all the way on the other side yeah we we might as well oh. take care of this first while we're here this is Bunza what is it what do you want so you're gonna you're gonna ask him about his name and he's gonna ask you can I help you I think we would change this. Yeah, there's no other... He knows who he is, but he's just going to play dumb like an Argonian. He's going to play Argonian. That's what he's doing. So we're going to taunt him to no avail. Yeah, even even with the mask of Clavic as well and a massive personality boost, uh, he, he's still probably not going to bite on some of these persuasion changes. Yeah. Or so, let's just kill him. We're gonna go ahead and kill it, um, and, and any kind of bounty that we incur, we'll we'll just take it. Though I, I for some reason I don't think they actually Die. do uh, anything to you because there's nobody around. No, nobody around that cares. Yeah, <laughs> nobody with with a. Oh yeah, that's right. We kind of picked an area where nobody really is gonna see anything, so we're gonna go ahead and you know and take some gold. And uh, he has some, some kind of crappy stuff, so we're not really even going to bother with it, but um, if you're really strapped for cash, you can probably sell off some of this stuff and, and make a quick buck. So um, now that, that we've completed that... Let's just drop that stuff off the kayak for a second. We're going to drop off some of our uh, heavy things, like TD suggested, um, and then we're going we're gonna to head off and uh, complete this quest. That will be two of our 20 quests. Do we have the Sword of White Woe? We do. Um, right there. We also have a Daedric Dagger that we want to sell the Creeper, but we need some more stuff. We need some more things of lesser value to kind of barter around with. Alright. We can probably drop that Daedric Dagger off then we kind of going to say. I think it's one of the heaviest daggers in the game. Some of, some of the... Yes, uh, you are turned around, buddy. <laughs> Just kind of walking off into oblivion there. Yeah, yeah I gotta yeah. go back up through here. Cause I know where I'm going here in Morrowind. Really? Yeah. You yeah. know, playing the game for almost a decade, you know where it's at? Yeah, so we're, we're just gonna drop this stuff right on the floor. Cause, um, it doesn't seem like Kaius minds doing that all that much. Is that a, I guess a skooma pipe I see down there. Yeah. And I think the, I believe that more. is uh, the cup generator, yeah. I take it you uh, liberated these from the Dalmora... The Caldera, actually. The Caldera uh, one, yeah. We're gonna... Oh, no, if we rest in a bed, we're gonna get our level up. So we're, we're gonna refrain from doing that. We're not gonna get orders right now. We're gonna exclusively 
for as long as we can focus on just doing the balance scale of let's play, we may end up switching over to the regular let's play um, to beef up our character before returning to um, to the walkthrough because we kind of want we want to keep those separate. And you can really watch, you know, just the series or the entire thing or just the other ones. Really, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, this this is really just watch. The, the, yeah, the key thing. views please. <laughs> you don't even have to like it necessarily. Though, if you if you like, you can leave a like. But um, yeah. for right now, we're we're really just trying to. Yeah, there's no fast travel. We're we're, we're walking back. Yeah, that's right. We could see or see that. You guys don't want to see that. Yeah. You, um, you could just do a little red bar at the bottom of, on the YouTube, and you, you can you can switch through forward through it if you like. Um, also, uh, if you want, you can leave a comment and tell us, you know, if you want to see more uh, fast traveling, if you like the way we're doing it so far. Right. Go uh, right. Go right. Go right. Yeah, I, I'm not good at getting from A to B. You'll, you'll notice in my yeah. if, if you want in my yeah, uh, I'm now switching over control to C B. Um, we'll help round out our next uh, our next couple quests or so. Um, so you can your caps lock on. Yeah, interesting. So you can um, if you leave a comment uh, if, you, if you like how we're doing this. If you want to see some changes. Um, more combat, less travel. If you want to see more mercantile, you want to see more um, just exploration. We'll probably leave most of that for the standard let's play. But um, I mean, there's definitely going to be exploration and combat in in this one, but only the ones related to the balance scale of main quest line. Now, now, if you guys are thinking that all oh, these first couple of quests seem kind of simple and basic, I'm not really interested in the mod. If you're not interested in the mod yet, don't write it off just yet. Watch our walkthroughs, and you'll see that a lot of the quests kind of increase in complexity. This was our first mod, yeah. and these were... We decided, instead of messing around with a bunch of little tiny mods and doing whatnot, and we're, we were just going to buy off more than we can chew right from the beginning. And we started this, and after about quest after Quest 3, we started to really get the hang of what was going on. So these first quests are actually the first ones we've ever, we've ever created. So we were, we were figuring out how to give quests and make, you know, give orders and do things like that. You know, that's why we had bends over for you, these easy quests. We were trying to figure out, oh, can we require a, a certain item to be in the inventory? Can we require that an NPC be killed? I mean, what, what can we do with this? The first few quests are rather straightforward. But the Killing Argonians, that's really what the mod is about. We decided to not change it at all. I may have forgotten. I think you turned that turn around right click. You'll see... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah right, there yeah. you go. Yeah. This is the pathway. Too. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm okay at this. I'm the fog doesn't come. Yeah. The fog of... So, um, so yeah, like I, like I was saying, the main, the main point is just, you know, give it a chance. Um, if, if you like combat, melee based mods, it really is for you. Um, we, we have a ton of content there for you. And we are currently working on a Grandmaster Quest style expansion to this mod. Um, so stay tuned for that. There's a thread up on um, the official Bethesda forum. Um, you know, stay tuned. Um, however long it's it's gonna it's gonna take, it's gonna take. Sorry to say that we're both graduate students in very demanding programs, so it may take a while to get done. But you know, we we stood it out for three years with this mod. So hey, Duke Nukem Forever was released, and oh, so was Chinese Democracy. So these things can happen. So duties, we were killing bums off. Yes. Bunzaw is dead. And if you pick yes when he's not dead, he'll know. He's good like that. Yep. So Bunzaw is dead. So now we, we get 200 gold for that trouble. And um, our next duties are to find three Argonians that have been irritating Theron. Okay. So... Okay. So, if you ask one of the three Argonians, he says, yes, 
three Argonians, three more than should be alive, eliminate them. So he gives us a key of teeth. Um, basically, there's a cave just west of the Balance Scales pub. And we're in the Balance Scales pub now. So we're going just west. Oh, there's a big rock there with a door on it. Guess where we're going. <laughs> and um, uh, this this is our the first instance of us actually altering the Morrowind landscape. Um, we do this in a few areas. Um, we, this is the Squamata Cave, and we open it with the ancient key of teeth. So, and um, so you'll notice that we this was kind of our first foray into um, playing with the outer landscape. Um, Oh, we, there's we, a light on down here. I wonder, wonder what could be down here. Oh, buried treasure. A piece of gold and a silver dagger. Well, we are we are like level two, so... Yeah, th this is a, just a random level treasure chest down here. But uh, we wanted to differentiate things a little bit, so we went ahead and did that. Um, not sure if we ever perfected the ramp to getting out of here. Yeah, we, we were still learning. Uh, there we go. Also, it would help if I hit the right jump button. That is what would help with this. I'm more used to the Minecraft spacebar jump <laughs> now. Yeah. So uh, I'm using the WASD E jump thing, and spacebar does not jump. That is, that is what I've learned. So oh. Oh, we're, we're already in combat. we got a guy throwing uh, stars at us. Oh, 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 and oh we no. Fell. Oh uh, no. But I think we're okay. Um, I think they have decent pass grading, so they're not gonna they're not gonna be dumb and just walk off. Did you pass grid these guys? I believe I, I went back and did that, yeah. Um, Originally we didn't, we didn't have pass grade. Check your health. Oh. Uh, you're, you're okay. You could probably... Oh, I'll do this. Um, yeah, we originally didn't, pass gridding was something we learned later on, yeah, but... it became absolutely necessary. Hey, one of, one of the screenshots is from this, one of the screenshots on my Elder Scrolls is from this fight. And I always get nervous when I can't see the health on the, on the bar, so go ahead and check that and see, uh... I think, um, I think I'm okay, I finished last word. I, yeah, you're alright, you're alright. You right. Sorry guys, our long blade is really, really suffering right now. And yeah, we, we need to use uh, a couple of cheap restore health. Um, but really, the, the, Daedric, the Daedric weapon is really kind of helping our cause. Um, you, should, you should consider doing, um, getting gold blade. To maybe be a, the next quest we do in the non balance Scales mod. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with that because um, having one main weapon kind of, uh, and it gets damaged, and we have a tendency to forget to bring repair hammers. We, what we do have is a... Um, we have the Sword of White Woe as a backup oh shit weapon. E, E jumps, E jumps. I think you're, are you, you're sneaking. You hit control. No. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so we, we do have the sort of white woe, which, if you guys don't know, it's not really a super, I mean, it's a great sword, but there's no quest involved with getting it, so people might not know about it. It's found in one of the guard powers in Balmora. You have to steal it. Um, uh, you went. Alright. Um, are we going to rest or not yet? Not yet, I think. Go ahead and check the corpse of the, uh, the Chanals or whatever. Yeah, it got some gold on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's always it's always good. I think we have over a thousand gold now. Yeah. Um. Eh, I don't think it's worth the wait to take those. Nor nor do I. See if he has it. Uh, yeah, we didn't check him yet. I don't know. I, is that a? Uh, I think it's a. This is a steel dagger. Oh, Nothing yeah. really worth taking. But now we have completed the first um, three 
um, major quests of um, balance scale. Yeah. Um, so we'll head back and get debriefed on that. Yeah, there's um, these are definitely the most simple of the quests, and they do get more complicated from here on out. I mean, that's definitely a don't think that the whole game is just go kill this entity, go kill that entity. There's, it gets more complicated than that. I mean, it's still combat intensive, don't get me wrong. But it's not as basic. Simplistic, even. Yes. And um, we, we figured it makes sense because you're just starting out. They're not really going to be giving you the, the big item quest when you're really kind of a nobody in the guild. Yeah. they got to make sure that you really don't like those Argarians. So I'm going to save the game, and that's that. Uh, LP2? No, and Medias for S1. Oh, okay. And I've never seen that, that warning come up before. That reached the maximum limit of possible Morrowind save game. Huh! I've never seen that one. I, I didn't even know there was a limit on the PC oh, version. I figured it was as big as your hard drive can be. I mean, there are plenty that I can delete, but um, that's well, neither here or there. What we'll do is... Um, huh, that is... Wow. I, mean, it, I have a load <laughs> of things. <laughs> we, we, we tested quite a bit when we were making the mod, as you might be able to tell. Yes. So, uh, what we'll do... Um, is right now we'll we'll end this episode or episodes. I'm not sure how we're going to divide it up yet, but um, leave a like if you like, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Ciao.